first of all, I would like to thank uh, 15 Times 4 team for inviting me. It's a big pleasure to be here today. And now I'd like to introduce myself. Um, my story of time management begins at the university. I've been studying uh, electronics and telecommunications and microeconomics at the same time. And looking back, uh, time management um, methods, uh, it's the only thing that helped me to save my mental health and to get through all through this. Um, and um, after this, I realized that uh, all uh, these methods are written mostly by men and for businessmen, and they are not working properly in the family. And I started to go more deeper in family time management, and it's um, based on simplified methods of the classical time management. And now I have an online project for uh, Russian-speaking women, and we talk about how to apply these time management methods in your family. So, time, uh, it's the most valuable resource, and we all know that it's limited. And if you Google, I don't have a time for, you will get a simply results. I don't have time for my hobbies, I don't have time uh, to read book, I don't have time for sleep, and so on. And I'm pretty sure that every one of you can add some extra points to this a long list. Um, and it's not the only problem of everyday life. It's also a problem uh, which is uh, enlightened in books and movies. For example, in Harry Potter, Hermione used Time Turner to study more and then to save her friends. In Back to the Future, Doc created TARDIS to make it, and he made it in the name of the science. And, for example, Doctor Who, who traveled through the time and through the galaxies to save the worlds and civilizations. But I would like to say that it's actually a trap, because the more time you get, the more time you want to spend. You find uh, every uh, single, in, another book, uh, another interesting thing to do, and um, you just don't know what to do next. But the good news is that we also have something, and it's GTD. Uh, GTD was uh, based on the book written by David Allen, and first it was published in 2001, and then uh, in 2015 it was uh, released uh, uh, with new version. Uh, it based more on new technologies. And uh, the main idea of the, all this uh, system is that your mind is for having ideas, not for holding them. And you have, you have to create a system that you trust, but you can put all your ideas, all your schedules, and all your to-do to lists in this system. But it's not the only thing, uh, uh, which, which, what you can do with this system. It also helps you to fight your fears. For example, every one of us has some fears. Some uh, people are afraid of spiders, some people are afraid of darkness, and even clowns. After moving to Germany, I had another big fear, and it's mailbox. Once you open it, you receive thousands, hundreds of emails, and it never ends. And if you just store them, they get even bigger. You receive reminders, manung, and, and so on and so forth. And but good news is that you can go all through this with this GTD system. Uh, how it works? It consists of five stages. First is capture, then clarify, organize, reflect, and engage. And now we'll go all through these steps separately. Stage one, capture. You must gather all the information which is, which is around you. It's a simple uh, mails, emails, uh, conversation, messages. It's not necessary to have this box, but you have to do some storage where you put it, uh, for example, in the, uh, in the beginning of the day. Stage two, you must ask yourself a question. Is it actionable? And then, if yes, you, mu you must ask another question. Can you do it less than two minutes? If yes, just do it, as simple as that. But if no, you must put it on your schedule or delegate it, and then perform to stage three. We will talk about this later. But if it's not actionable, so you must ask yourself a question, will I need this in the future? If yes, put it in your storage. Uh, you can create an incubate folder or a reference. 
uh, the difference between these two folders is uh, that in incubate folder you have to uh, reflect it. You have to uh, look at it in every week, every month or every year. And in reference folder it's just a storage for good knowledges. And if you don't need this in the future, just put it in trash. And now I would like to play a game with you. Uh, you had all these green bladders uh, and with different um, everyday information that you have. And my question is, uh, does anyone of you have something which is actionable? A tip, it's, it starts with a verb. <laughs> Can you raise your hands? Okay, so is, can you do it less than in two minutes? Yes? No. <laughs> then uh, you must delegate it. If you ca could do this in two minutes, then just do it. Uh, does anyone of you have something uh, which must be stored? Please raise your hands. Uh, so you can put it in incubate folder or in reference. And anyone of you wonder, is this a right path that you think um, actionable or for storage? And I would say, yes, there is no wrong answer. Because as, as I said, you have to create a system which works perfect, perfectly for you. And for example, there was a um, printer user manual. For someone, you could put it in reference and then look at it when you need it. But for me, for example, it's a trash because I know that I can find it uh, every, uh, every, since I need it in Google. Um, so we are going to the stage three, organize. The long to-do lists can be depressing and demotivating. That's why you have to organize. And GTD pro, um, provides you some organizing methods. For example, in project, in time, or in context. So you don't have to do, uh, look at your grocery list when you're at your office. And you don't have to uh, remember about Halloween party when you're working on your project. So separate it in the ways you want to use it. Step four, reflect or review. You can do these reviews daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. But uh, in GTD, it's recommended to do a daily review every day. Once you, go to, uh, once you get to your office on, or once you start your work, weekly review just to make sure that you're moving toward your dreams, toward your goals, and monthly and yearly review if it's necessary for big projects. And stage five is just engage or do it. Um, in GTD system, there are three models of making action choices. Uh, but I would like to tell about uh, the four criteria model for choosing actions at that moment. You should always ask yourself, what's your next action? But before, you can um, decide uh, this about context. Uh, what can you do here and now? Do you have... Uh, uh, some uh, things that uh, can help to do this or people around you who can help to do it. Um, the second criteria is time available. Do you have enough time to do this? And the third is energy available. If you're tired, of course, you can go and uh, do big things. It's better to have some rest and save uh, these big things for the future. And fourth is priorities. Which are your priorities at that moment? Uh, the other two uh, models of making um, of decisions, <laughs> of making action choices, uh, you can find in a book. So, uh, what's the science between the DTD? And there's a group of scientists which made um, of this research. They're um, Cognitive, uh, this cognitive research. Cognitive science is uh, pretty good described in this picture. So it's a combination of psychology, philosophy, linguistics, anthropology, neuroscience, and artificial intelligence. And there are some cognit uh, cognitive paradigms, paradigms and there, um, you can, uh, which you can find in GTD system. The first one is uh, externalizing memory. So you free your mind and just put all the information, all the to-do lists and all the schedules in the system you trust. The second one is um, 
stigmatic action, and that's exactly when you ask uh, a question, is it actionable? And your goal is to make uh, as much more um, this uh, actionable um, things uh, as you can. And uh, the third one is a situated action. Uh, it's just about that you uh, are looking at your priorities, time, and, and so on. And uh, the, another one is adapting more important than planning. This is about that you create the system which works perfectly for you. Then it's organizing from the bottom up. So you just look at your everyday tasks, not the whole thing. So you always ask, which is your next step? And the last one is using feedback to keep on track. This is about this review and um, so monthly, daily and uh, yearly review. So the, another important question is how to start. Uh, I would like to recommend some programs. It's um, Todoist, Wunderlist uh, or Evernote. And you can just Google it and find easily how to do guides uh, and uh, how to use the system in every of these programs. Um, I personally use uh, Todoist because it has also uh, good uh, possibilities to delegate some tasks, um, to schedule some tasks and uh, to overview to-do lists. And uh, it also has very good option, as I said before, this inbox folder. So you can just uh, look and find a perfect way to get your things done. Uh, and uh, first, uh, first rule which you can apply is this two minutes rule. It's actually brilliant. Once you start to do it, the pile of documents at your table uh, gets, uh, <laughs> you get less and less of uh, these documents which you simply store but not use. And I would like to thank you for your attention. <laughs> I'm ready. Thank you. Yeah, so your questions, please. Well, then I have... Well, <laughs> it I was as simple as that. <laughs> then I have a question. Okay. Um, if I have uh, some kind of event, if I uh, need to organize the birthday party, how should I start with? If I have a very busy uh, work, if, um, if my schedule is uh, filled up with uh, all the possible things till the midnight... So how to simply sort it out? Okay, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, for, uh, birthday party is uh, a good example. So uh, there are some, uh, it's not uh, just birthday invitation. There are some other actions which uh, are hidden in this invitation. The first one is you have to give a reply. Are you attending to this party or not? Uh, is it actionable? Yes, it is. Does it take less than two minutes? Yes, it is. Then simply do it. As you receive uh, an invitation, you can just reply, or are you attending this event or no? Uh, the second step is uh, if you have to buy a present. Is, is it actionable? Yes. Does it take less than two minutes? No. <laughs> you have to put it in your shadow when you go and buy it or delegate. You can send a message to your significant other <laughs> or friends and ask about uh, should you, um, could they buy a present for you. Uh, and uh, the last thing is you have to put uh, the date on your schedule. So it's also takes less than two minutes, but you are then pretty sure that you don't miss it. And if you're busy, you have to combine it uh, for uh, by project, by date, or by context. So you can make uh, one, uh, you, you, as, as long as you have this in your schedule, you can uh, just, uh, over, <laughs> in weekly overview, you will see that in this week you have this event and you will know if everything is ready for this event or not. Thank you very much, Victoria. I will try to do it. Okay, I'm glad. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you for your talk.